Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be doing an OBS tutorial um, for an issue that I encountered with, um, I was getting good frames in the game, say 120 or so for example, and then my gameplay turned out laggy um, due to uh, a rendering overload. Basically my GPU was being overused according to OBS and um, yeah, it made my gameplay really choppy. Um, so I hope you guys uh, solves all you guys' issues, and uh, let's jump into the video. So right, guys, I've got specs um, that are quite well. I like to think they're mid. They're probably mid to high range specs um, for for today's market. Um, this stuff only came out a year ago. Well, the CPU did anyway. Um, I've got an R seven seventeen hundred and a GTX 1066 gig, so I should have no problems running this game but for some reason my GPU overloads right what you're gonna do is go to task manager um, go to game in this case it's Rainbow Six bear in mind that you will have to do this every time you wanna record a game um, because it's not preset so every time you boot up your PC launch the game you gotta do it every time um, which I know can be a big pain um, and then what you want to do from here is go to details find your game or you could click the detailed tab up there um, I'm just rather doing it the long way around and then you want to go to set priority and then put below normal to change priority what you guys are probably thinking is that it probably makes the game run worse which is true but I haven't really seen much FPS difference here um, in Siege to be honest. It does take a little hit on your FPS. Um, but you want to set that primarily and also um, it doesn't really affect me but I've got 60 hertz. Uh, well I'm using my TV at the minute. Um, so what you want to do um, is also turn on V-Sync uh, because that does help the issues a lot and it will cap you at your monitor's refresh rate so you've got 144 hertz you should have no problem really um, so what I did specifically on Siege was uh, cap it to one frame and then it worked for me um, and then I've also tried this without V-Sync and it started making the gameplay laggy once again um, as I tested out as you can see here And of course, you can also do this if uh, this didn't resolve your issue. Um, I mean, this is mentioned in a lot of videos, but you can always, depending on what specs you got, you can always go to your recording tab and things like that and turn down your settings. Um, you guys can copy my settings if you like. Um, you don't really need two pass encoding, so I'm going to turn that off for starters. Um, I'd recommend 40,000 if you can do it, but minimum I would go for 1080p 60fps would be about 10,000. Um, bit rate, and then obviously if you're streaming uh, to Twitch or anything, you'd go for about 2,500 to 3,500 uh, because no one's internet is the greatest and if you want to get more viewers then and, uh, turn it down to that and of course probably a new streamer I would go for 720 uh, 60 uh, frames per second on Twitch on YouTube it doesn't really matter um, but on YouTube I normally go to about 6000 uh, to make a nice high quality 1080p 60 FPS stream and of course if you um, don't have the MVEC encoder because you don't have the NVIDIA one I'm not sure what the AMD one's called but you can put that on for AMD graphics cards and that will give you the op all this option all the options uh, that are available here you can also select X264 
as well. And um, what you do here is um, if it's giving you choppiness um, or you haven't got very good hardware, um, I would go with uh, selecting these three here. Ultra fast uh, would give you the lowest quality but less laggy. If you've got really good hardware, um, I mean, I would be bouncing between the fast, fast, very fast, super fast, and obviously ultra. That's where everyone mainly is going to be. Um, most people won't be able to go down to placebo. That's for really good hardware. I'd assume like X299 chips and things like that, i9s, etc. Uh, thread rippers and then I would recommend putting this high and then you can put a tune on if you like um, Bitrate I would recommend the same bitrate as you were So right, I just realized I made absolutely no sense while uh, editing this um, so um, Just select like in my case it would be 40,000 just select the same bitrate as you would um, GPU encoding um, it works the same as just X264 is just uh, CPU encoding, which is uh, less efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you, it did help you out. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you do like this type of content, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh.